Hello, my name is Teresa, and thank you for clicking on my video. Today we are getting ready as usual, and I want to talk about some new products that I have been using. I have done this video, I think this is the third time, and I didn't post it before, and I'm glad I didn't. I usually don't like to do um, first impressions because your impression change. It may, you may like the product the first time, but it may change. So with that being said, I am going to talk about the Prada Beauty um, Foundation that came out probably like a um, month or so ago. But we just have had um, access to it recently here in the States. I bought this from Nordstrom's. This is DN75. I got the refill because I was looking at a video and they said that it wasn't worth, the packaging wasn't that nice. So I wish I would have got the packaging. It was like $15 more. Um, the Hold with the product casing, I think was $70, and without it was $55. So it is a very nice <clears throat> light matte foundation. Um, the claims on it are, let's see. Just looking at the box, it does have a broad spectrum SPF 15. We never want to only rely on your um, SPF in your beauty products. And it says it instantly unifies skin with all day soft matte, seamless and flexible coverage. Optimizes light diffusion in real life and on screen with Micro filter technology blurs the look of pores and fine lines, improves overall skin look um, over time. Skin feels moisturized, diffused, healthy glow. So um, the first time I used it, and then you know sometimes you use your products in different ways. So the first time I used it, I used, I don't know where I left off or even if any of the beginning of it has been filmed because my camera was off. <laughs> so what I said, I'm going to repeat myself and I'll just maybe have to edit. But I was talking about this Prada foundation. This is a glass bottle. This is one fluid ounce. I 1.7 fluid ounces no one fluid one fluid ounce this is the shade dn75 i only got the refill um i was look, listening to a another person that was um, reviewing the product and said that the packaging wasn't that great and just to get the refill so uh, i saved myself 15 dollars and got the refill I um, was saying, when I thought I was filming, that the first time I used it, it was, I kept it on for like 11 hours. It was beautiful. It worked out really well. Um, I went to sleep. It wasn't feeling well. And I still felt like at the end of the night, it was pretty decent. Um, I do think it's a drier formula and will work better for me in the warmer months. I do um, only need a little bit. I only had two little small pumps for my, maybe a full pump together for my um, entire face. <clears throat> Excuse me. For my entire face. Um, I went on to say that, um, the next couple of days that I used it, I really felt like, um, my 
skin had was really dry and sucked up most of my makeup and I was getting a little irritation here and you can still see some of the irritation here little fine bumps there so I have experienced that with other foundations where yesterday I could not wait to get wash my face after about nine ten hours I I had to wash my face I just felt so dry and looked so irritated and I'll show you a picture and the same for my um, concealer. My concealer um, was completely gone. The dark spots were um, showing through. I mean, I contributed to not the product all the time. I contributed to the environment the cold temperatures outside to the extra dry heat inside. Um, you know, it's, it's just so much going on that contributes to how a makeup product may perform. So um, I do think it's a good product. I like the shade DN75. I think it's a little drier little bit more matte than the Gucci foundation. As I mentioned um, before, to just for some reference, the fragrance isn't as strong as the Gucci, in my opinion. It dissipates right away. Um, what else can I say? I think it would be good for all skin. I think it'd be better for for oily skin and I think you only need a little bit when I did try to build it up it started to look too light for me just used a little bit of the pink Vanessa Myricks powder um, so I'm glad I didn't jump on and show the first video that I did because a lot of times first impressions look beautiful and just because it wore, wore well that first day I like to tell you that every time you put it on it's going to be a winner that's what I look for in a good product so I did put on my Fenty concealer I am continuing to use it. It's okay. I don't feel like I get the full coverage all day that I'm looking for. I think it looks beautiful now. Um, you can still see some darkness and I used a color corrector. So I don't want to put too much because I don't want it to look cakey and start to Settle in my fine lines. I do have some fine lines. I have heard people say <clears throat> that it has settled in their fine lines, but they put on a good bit. Um, and because of the light reflecting luminous effect of it, I don't want that effect under my mature skin eyes. So, um, so I did put a little bit more over the powder, the little bit of powder that I had under my eyes, but it still looks nice and smooth. So I am going to use my Berry Pop. Let me wipe it off. <clears throat> this is the T T Natasha Denona Berry Pop. This is her cream blush, her powder blush, and this is a um, highlighter. And it is called the Tinted Glow Base Cream and the Cream Blush. They uh, the the shades are Berry Pop. Yeah, and then you have your highlighter. I have been using this. I think it's very pretty. 
And like a lot of concepts, use the cream first. And this could get very punchy with the color. And I don't want punchy color. I want just light, smooth, subtle color. So I hope you can see that. I am just putting on just a little. Just a little. And then I'm going to go over it, wipe my brush off, and I'm going to go over it with the powder. And this is a very pretty pinky burgundy shade. <clears throat> Let's see, you can kind of see that reflection under my eyes. I, that's not what I, be, I go for. I like a matte finish, um, smooth matte finish under my eye. I did put on um, the NARS eye base over my eyes. I'm gonna use my Natasha Denona, my Dream Palette, cause it is right here. And I am going to do a little bit of black. Just a little bit. This is very um, pigmented and I am still getting used to um, you know, using black eyeshadow, I think it's gorgeous. I just have not played around enough with it. And I feel like I don't care how much <laughs> a little bit of makeup I put on. I feel like I um, still look made up. Or, you know, not made up, but like I really put some makeup on and I just dabbed the smallest amount on. But that's my opinion. <clears throat> so I just did a little black. And then I am going to go in with this Risk. Just a, very lightly. And cover the rest of my eyelid. Maybe I need to get something smaller. I want a smaller, but I want a fluffy <coughs> brush. This is not very fluffy. Well, it's not what I was going for, but we'll fix it. And this is the I Am Cole. And I also want to use my Berry Pop Lip Pencil, which is so creamy and soft. And you can use this by itself as a lipstick. And you can fill your lips in and throw in your gloss and be done because it covers well, really well by itself without the lipstick. But this is the lipstick. Not too dark burgundy, 
uh, pinky mauve and this will give it like a little sheen and with both of them of course you have a little bit more longevity so this is my face for today I am going to spray it I guess I'm just going to use the Chantecaille rose water because that's what's right here. And this is just going to add some moisture. This is not going to, um, it's not like the Charlotte Tilbury, the stay in place um, Charlotte Tilbury, which I don't see out here so I'm not gonna worry about that but um, this is my face for today and if you like this type of content um, please like subscribe and share and you guys have a great day bye bye